Every hour you spend doing the same task twice is a tax on your growth. What if I told you you could replace 30 hours of grunt work with just five simple workflows? This isn't just about saving time. It's about unlocking freedom. Most businesses aren't broken. They're just wasting time on the wrong things. But these five automations, they don't just save you time. They make you unstoppable. Hey everyone, it's Jake Dawson here, and I'm here to share something that's completely transformed how I've run my business. I've been diving deep into make.com automations for the past year, and I've discovered that most businesses are missing out on these game-changing workflows that could literally run their operations on autopilot. Today, I'm going to walk you through the five most critical make.com automations that every business absolutely must have. These aren't just nice to have features, right? These are the automations that separate successful scalable businesses from those stuck in manual labor hell. By the end of this video, you'll have a complete blueprint for automating your most time consuming tasks. And I'll show you exactly how each automation works from trigger to outcome. And hey, if you want to download these automations, get the templates and access a step-by-step -step walkthrough for each one, head over to my school community. I've put everything in there so you don't have to start from scratch. It's the shortcut that I wish I had when I started. All right, the first automation I want to show you is what I like to call the lightning fast lead response. So this is a system that is an absolute game changer. Like if you only set up one automation from this video, make it this one because it directly affects how much money you make. Let me hit you with a quick stat. Responding to a lead within five minutes gives you 21 times better results than if you wait just 30 minutes, 21 times. I know, I had to read that twice too. It's, it's kind of insane how much of a difference just a few minutes can make. So let's build this together. Open up make.com, click on create a new scenario, and then for the trigger, you're going to search for webhook. That's your starting point. Basically, the webhook is what catches the info from the contact form the second someone hits submit. If you're using something like Typeform or a form on a site with a Webflow or WordPress, just copy the webhook URL from make.com and paste it into the form's integration settings. Once that's done, now we want to send the lead info to your CRM. So normally you'd use something like HubSpot or Pipedrive here, and you just add the CRM module and set it to create or update contact. That way it either creates a new contact or updates the existing one without messing up your data or creating duplicates. But for this example, we're going to keep it simple and use Google Sheets as our CRM. Yep, just a good old fashioned spreadsheet. And honestly, it works great if you're just getting started or you don't wanna pay for a full blown CRM yet. Let me show you exactly how to do it. So once that form data hits your webhook, the next step is to send it straight to your Google Sheet. Add the Google Sheets module and choose add a row. You'll pick your spreadsheet. Let's say it's called Lead Tracker and the specific worksheet inside of it, like new leads. Now just map each field from the form into the right columns. First name, last name, email, phone number, plug all of that in. You can also add a timestamp using the now function in brackets so you always know exactly when that lead came in. Now comes the smart part. If you want to assign the lead to a rep automatically, you've got a few options here. One super easy way, just create a column in your Google Sheet called assigned rep and use a set variable module in make to assign based on a rule. Like if the inquiry column contains design, then assign it to Sarah. If it contains SEO, then you give it to Mike. You get the idea. To set that up, drop in a router and add filters like inquiry text contains XYZ and each path set a custom value for that assigned rep. Then just map that into the sheet when you add the row. Once the lead is logged and assigned, it's time to follow up fast. Drop in a Gmail module and set it to send a personalized email to the lead. Something like, hey, first name, thanks for reaching out about their inquiry. I'm the rep's name and I'd love to help. Here's my calendar if you'd like to set up a quick call. Drop your Calendly link in there dynamically if each rep has their own link or just use one master calendar. Now, the last step, you want to let your rep know that they've got a hot lead. Add a Slack module and send a message that says, new lead assigned to you with the rep's name, inquiry, and the contact info. Then you want to check the sheet for details. And boom, that's it. Every time someone fills out your form, their info is logged, assigned, responded to, and the right person is notified, all within 60 seconds. This turns your dusty old spreadsheet or CRM into a lightweight automated sales machine. No more digging through emails or forgetting to reply. You've got a system that works harder than most interns and doesn't ghost you on Mondays. 
right? So let's talk about the second automation now. This one's all about getting rid of one of the biggest time wasters in your business, document creation. You know what I'm talking about. Finishing a sales call, opening up a Word doc, copying and pasting client details, adjusting prices, fixing typos, and then trying to make it look halfway professional, it's painful. And honestly, we've all sent at least one proposal with the wrong client name. I'm guilty of that. This automation takes all of that and gets it done in under two minutes. No more clicking around or second guessing if you spelled the company name right. Here's how it works. The trigger for this one is simple. Your sales rep finishes a call and fills out a quick form. It could be a Google form, a type form, even a form inside your CRM itself. It doesn't really matter. As long as it sends the client's info somewhere, Make can grab it. So once that form is submitted, we can start by automatically generating a unique invoice or deal number. You can use the built-in tools inside Make to create something like a timestamp invoice, super easy. And then we update your CRM or your Google Sheet, if you're keeping it lightweight, that is, like we are today. So with that invoice number and all the form data so everything stays organized. Now comes the fun part generating the actual document. Let's say you're using PandaDoc or some similar tool. You'll set up a template ahead of time with all the fields you want to fill in, client name, company, selected services, pricing, payment terms, all that good stuff. Inside Make, add a PandaDoc module and use Create Document from Template. Then just map each field from the form into the template. Client name goes here, service description goes here, total price drops in automatically. And here's where it gets slick. You can include smart upsells inside the doc. So if someone picked a basic package, the doc can automatically recommend the pro version with a little note like, most clients in your industry go with this option for better long-term results. You're not just sending a doc, you're giving them a gentle nudge to buy more, all without lifting a finger. Then the document gets formatted, branded with your logo, and sent straight to the client for review. You can even set it to be signable right away. So if the client's ready to move forward, they don't have to email you back. They just click, sign, and done. And the best part, this whole thing runs on autopilot. What used to take 30 to 45 minutes minimum now happens in under two minutes. And there are zero mistakes. No, oops, wrong pricing. No, I, I forgot to attach the doc. None of that. This is one of those automations that just doesn't save time. It makes you look sharp, professional, and totally on top of your game. Imagine ending a call and before you even refill your coffee, the proposal is already ready sitting there in your client's inbox. That's the kind of experience that closes deals faster. All right, automation number three. This one is a lifesaver if you've ever closed a deal and then spent the next hour copying the same info into five different places. Been there. And let's be real, something always gets misplaced. A wrong price here, a missing task there, and then your team starts asking, wait, what did we sell again? Total chaos. This automation fixes all of that by syncing everything automatically once the contract is signed and paid. And here's how it works. The trigger is the moment your client signs and pays for their final contract. If you're using something like PandaDoc, just set the trigger to document completed. That tells Make the deal is officially closed. Time to update everything. Now we need to pull out all the info from that signed contract. Add a text parser or use the data fields that already exist inside your document template. Stuff like what service they bought, what the price is, how they're paying, and when. Next, we update your CRM, or in the earlier example, your Google Sheet. Open the Google Sheets module and choose Update Row instead of Add a Row. You're just replacing the placeholder info with the real final contract terms. Actual pricing, confirmed services, payment schedule, all that stuff. Now, let's talk accounting. This is a big one that most people forget. Add your accounting software module, like QuickBooks or Xero, and make sure that the revenue info from the contract gets pushed there accurately. This isn't just for tracking payments. It helps you recognize revenue right away, which comes in handy during tax season or when your accountant starts asking you questions you really don't wanna answer on the spot. All right, now we need to get your team moving. Add a project management module like ClickUp, Asana, or Trello, but whatever you use. Set it to create a new project or task list automatically based on the service sold. So if the contract was for a website redesign, it spins up a new board, assigns the design team, adds the deadline, and breaks down the steps. No more emailing your team like, hey, can you start on that new client tomorrow? And here's the cool little safety net. Add a filter that checks if something important is missing. For example, if the pricing doesn't match what was in the CRM earlier, or if the signed contract skipped the service field, you can trigger a Slack message to yourself 
saying, hey, something's off, double check this one. It's like having a little robot assistant that taps you on the shoulder when something smells funny. Now, imagine this whole flow happening in real time. The client signs, everything updates, the right info gets pushed to your systems, your team is notified, your accountant's happy. It's the kind of automation that makes you feel like your business has finally got its act together. And when your tools are speaking the same language, things move faster, smoother, and everything's just way less stressful. All right, automation number four is for all my product-based businesses out there. If you're selling anything, physical products, digital downloads, even bundles, this one is a total must-have. It handles your entire order process from the second someone hits buy to the moment that order is at the door. No more babysitting Shopify or waking up to email saying, hey, where's my package? Let me walk you through how it works. The trigger is simple. Customer places an order on your website. If you're using Shopify or WooCommerce or even Gumroad, Make has modules for all of those. So you start with something like watch new orders as the trigger. The second that order comes in, the automation kicks off. Step one, we verify the payment. This is automatic if you're using Shopify or WooCommerce with say Stripe or PayPal. The module just checks. Did they actually pay? If yes, it moves on. If not, don't worry. You can filter it to send a follow-up email asking them to complete the payment or just skip the rest of the steps entirely. Next, we update your inventory. Now this is where things usually start to fall apart for most small businesses. You get one sale and suddenly your stock levels are wrong everywhere, somehow. But with this automation, as soon as the product is purchased, your inventory gets updated in real time. You can use Airtable, Google Sheets, or even connect directly to your inventory management tool if you're using something more robust, that is. Let's say you're using Google Sheets to make it easy. Add a module to search for the product in your inventory tab. Subtract the quantity that was ordered and update the row. Done. And yes, if you're selling on multiple channels like your website and Etsy, you can connect both to the same inventory tracker so everything stays synced up. All right, now shipping. This is one of the coolest parts. Use a service like Shippo, Easy Post, or your shipping platform of choice. The automation grabs the customer's shipping address, chooses the best rate automatically based on speed or cost, up to you, and it generates the shipping label. You don't even need to touch it. Just print and stick it on the box. Then it emails the customer with the tracking info and estimated delivery date. This is a super underrated setup. When your customer gets that, hey, your order's on the way, they get that email right after they buy, it builds trust instantly. It feels professional. It's the little things that keep people coming back. Now, let's say your inventory is running low. Here's where the automation gets next level. You can set a rule that says, if stock drops below five, automatically generate a purchase order for your supplier or send yourself a Slack notification. You don't wanna find out you're out of stock when a customer already paid you. I've been there also, and it's not fun. And yes, this can handle the messy stuff too. Bundled products, different shipping zones, international orders with customs info, it can all be handled with the right setup. But even if you keep it simple, this automation will save you hours every single week and it makes your business look way more polished. This is like hiring a fulfillment manager that never sleeps, never messes up, and never asks for PTO. All right, last but definitely not least, let's talk about social media. If you've ever sat there staring at a blank screen thinking, what the heck should I post today? This automation is going to be your new best friend. I call it the AI-powered social media content engine. This thing creates and posts content for you automatically across all your platforms without it sounding like some corporate robot. It starts when you publish something, like a blog post, a podcast episode, uh, or even a new video. Or if you prefer working ahead, you can set it up to run off of your content calendar. Either way, that's the trigger. And once that trigger hits, the first step is AI jumping in to analyze the content. It breaks down the blog or whatever you want just published and it pulls out the main ideas, the themes, and anything catchy enough to stop a scroll. Then it creates platform specific versions of that post. So you get the short punchy copy for X or Twitter, more visual posts for Instagram, and a more professional tone for LinkedIn. And because it's tailored to each platform, it actually sounds like you know what you're doing instead of blasting the same exact thing everywhere. Next, it takes care of hashtags and mentions. No more Googling best hashtags for small business growth. It generates the best ones for you based on your topic. I usually have it include three to five for each platform and rotate them so the posts don't feel spammy. Once the posts are written and formatted, it schedules them automatically at the best times for your audience. You can do this with tools like Buffer or Publer or whatever you're already using to manage scheduling. I have mine set up to post during peak engagement hours and 
Let me tell you, it makes a big difference. Now, here's a fun twist. This automation can also monitor engagement. So if people start commenting with questions like, where can I buy this? Or what tools do you use? The AI can send out an auto reply or at least tag you to jump in. You're not just posting content, you're starting conversations and the system helps you stay on top of them. And over time, it learns. It looks at what posts got the most likes, shares, or comments, and it uses that info to help write better content next time. So your social media doesn't just stay active, it gets smarter the more you use it. And the best part, you're not glued to your phone. You're not stuck rewriting captions late at night or trying to resize the same post for three different platforms. This thing keeps your brand visible 24 seven and drives actual traffic back to your site or your offers. So whether you're running a business, building a personal brand, or just trying to stay consistent without burning out, this automation takes one of the most time sucking parts of marketing and it turns it into something that you barely have to think about. Now, if you're wondering where to start, here's the play. Begin with the lead response system, fastest impact on revenue. Then set up document generation to save time. After that, sync your contracts to keep your info clean across your tools. If you sell products, add the e-commerce automation. And finally, once everything else is solid, layer in the social media engine. Set it up as a one-time thing, test it, make sure it works before moving on. You don't need to do it all at once. These five automations can take you from 40 hours a week of admin work to under five and give you actual time back to grow your business. All right, now I wanna hear from you. Which of these automations do you think would make the biggest difference in your business right now? Drop it in the comments. Let me know what repetitive tasks are taking up the most of your time. Whether it's chasing leads, building docs, managing orders, wh whatever it is, I'd love to know. And hey, if this video helped you out even a little bit, hit that subscribe button and tap the bell so you don't miss out on the next one. I'm gonna be breaking down each of these automations step-by-step step in upcoming videos so you can follow along and actually build them for your own business. And hey, if you want more support, ideas, and ready-to-use templates, come join our school community. It's in the link in the description below. And it's where I share all the behind the scenes stuff, extra walkthroughs, and answer questions directly. You'll find a bunch of other folks automating their own businesses too. And it's honestly one of the best places to learn and level up. At the end of the day, this isn't about automating everything just to save time. It's about giving yourself the space to focus on what actually matters, what actually moves the needle in your business. That's what we're after. Thank you for watching. Oh, and before you click away, here's another video you'll probably want to watch next. It's packed with even more tips to help you crush it with automation. I'll see you there.